Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building a steam locomotive from the UK here, and we're going to be building LMS 13065, and this is a 260 Crab Mogul type steam locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build now. So we're going to start off at the front end, and we're going to place an outward facing mangrove stair on the bottom of each side of the front. Across the top, five red nether brick walls. Then we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate in the middle, then open one here, and on each outer edge, put a polished black stone wall here and here, and close a dark oak trap door on each one for the buffers. Then we're going to come on the bottom, right behind this, on the next block back, and put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then behind that, two rows of three blackstone brick top slabs. Then we're gonna put a bamboo button on each wheel, and then two wither skeleton skulls here, and two on this side. Then come and grab a block of netherite and a chain. Up here, put three netherite on the top middle. Then coming off that behind it on the top middle, we're gonna do a line of 18 netherite coming back. One eight, so another 18 blocks behind those black stone brick slabs. Then we'll come back up here on this front, and we're gonna do two rows of three black stone brick top slabs up here, and two rows of three on this side. And actually, we are gonna go ahead and make these three netherite black stone brick blocks so they match. Then we're gonna come up here on the bottom, and we're gonna need to put a temporary block on this rail here, and then above it we need two vertical chains, and then take out this temporary block. Then come up on this first row of slabs, and we need a forward facing skeleton skull here and here, and then behind each skeleton skull put a forward facing black stone brick stair. Then one on this back corner, and one stair on this back corner like this. Next we're going to do the pistons, which actually sit at an inclined angle. So behind this stair on top, we're gonna put a red terracotta here, and one here, then a backward facing mangrove stair on each side. Come under it, put a red terracotta under the stair, and an upside down forward facing mangrove stair here. Then a bamboo sign here, so the piston's angled. Copy on this side. So a red terracotta here, an upside down stair here, and then a bamboo sign here. Next, we're going to do our driving wheels, so we're going to come on the side of this row of netherite with more netherite blocks. And we're going to skip one block behind the piston, put three netherite here, skip one three, skip one three. Then copy that pattern on this side, so three here, here, and here. Then we're going to put one on the top middle of all six of these on each side. Then come underneath and put one on the bottom middle of all of these on each side. So we end up having six three by three plus shapes here. Then the wheels have gold trim, so we're gonna take bamboo stairs upside down, one here and here. Same thing for this wheel, and then for this wheel. Then turn around on these corners and do upside down forward facing bamboo stairs on all six. Then we'll round off the tops, so right side upstairs, facing backward on all six of these corners. Then turn around and going forwards here and here, here and here, and here and here. Then we're going to come on bottom, behind the driving wheels, on the bottom middle. Put four dark oak fence gates down here. Then up here we're going to do a dark oak slab and a fence gate under that. Now we'll do the driving rod, so come under here, put a dark oak trap door right there. And then same thing on this side. Then coming off this bottom red terracotta, we're gonna put three iron bars. On the bottom of those, we need three iron trap doors here. And that's not supposed to be there. Then up here, three smooth stone slabs. Copy it on this side, so right here, three iron bars, three smooth stone slabs on top, three iron trap doors on bottom. Then take your smooth stone slabs again. We're gonna drop one hitbox down behind these. Do three slabs, drop a hitbox down, do four slabs. Then put a skeleton skull here, here, 
and right here. Copy on this side, so take smooth stone slabs, drop a hitbox down, do three here, then drop down one again and do four. Put a skeleton skull here, and here, and then one right here. Now take mangrove fence and put two between the wheels here, two here. Then two right here, two right here, and then two here. Make sure they're aligned with the top of the wheels on each side. Then we're going to put a polished deep slate wall here, then one here, three wide, and then one between these fences. Come up here, and we're going to put two black stone brick blocks on the center, right here, and then above it, we're going to come forward by one so it's three long, and then make this another two blocks tall so it's a three by three up here. Then three upside down black stone brick stairs here, and three on this side. Above it on each side, three black stone brick blocks. Then three right side upstairs here, and three here. Then we'll knock out this top center block actually, put in a sole campfire, and get a black stone brick block above it. Then we're going to come back here and take out red terracotta. And above this back driving wheel, we need to do a three by three of red terracotta on the center up here. Then a line of red terracotta across this bottom middle all the way up to this smoke box. On the side of that, do a full row of upside down mangrove stairs here. And then, same thing on this side. Then we'll come back here and do a 3x3 three three of red terracotta on top of the back of this again, aligned with it. Then a full red of terracotta red across this side, and a full line of red terracotta across this side. Up here we're going to make this U-shape of red terracotta like this, and then a line of red terracotta down the top middle. Then right here, a full line of mangrove stairs facing outward, and a full line of mangrove stairs on this side as well. Then come in this top gap back here, open a bamboo fence gate here, and four yellow candles in front of it. Surround it on top with this U-shape of mangrove trapdoors. Then come up here, aligned with this stair. On the top center, put a red terracotta with a mangrove stair on either side like that. Then we're gonna come right here and put three mangrove buttons here, and then three here on the top. Then we're gonna come up on front of the smoke box. And on the center here, put a temporary block, and we're gonna put a horizontal chain on either side of that block, then take out the block. In its place, put a dark oak sign, and type 13065. Hit it with white dye in a glowing sack, then put a dark oak button above it and below it. And then we're gonna come down to the back end here. Back here, we're gonna put four black stone brick top slabs on the side of the netherite, and four on this side. Then on this back corner slab, we need to get an outward facing mangrove stair up here, like this. And then same thing on this side, get an outward facing stair on this slab. Then we're going to close a mangrove trap door on the front of the stair and the back of the stair. And then same thing for this one, a trap door closed here and here. Then above the stair we're going to do three red terracotta, then an upside down mangrove stair facing forward. Repeat here, so three red terracotta and an upside down stair facing forward. On top of this, do four red terracotta on each side. On the middle of it, put two bamboo signs here, and then same thing here, two bamboo signs here. Then on each front corner, put an inward facing mangrove stair here and here, then two cyan stained glass panes on each side, and then close a mangrove trap door on the back of each of the windows. Up here, put three outward facing black stone brick stairs, three on this side, and then five upside down stairs across the back top here. Go ahead and fill this middle with a three by three, a black stone brick block. Then on the top middle, we're gonna do a three by four of black stone brick slabs on the center like this. Then take out black stone brick stair on top of this piston, put a forward facing stair here, and one on this side. Coming off the top back of it, we're going to do 
five black stone brick top slabs here. Then same thing on the other side, five right here. Behind this, we need a backward facing black stone brick stair here. And then drop down and do black stone brick bottom slabs all the way across here till it lines up with the cap. Repeat on this side, so we need a backward facing black stone brick stair right here. And then a row of bottom slabs across this until it meets up with the cap. Then we're gonna take out lightning rods here and we're gonna come off this stair and we're gonna do seven sideways lightning rods coming forward. Then we'll put a temporary block here and raise up by one and put one lightning rod up here so it's up here. Then make sure we get one behind it like this so it jumps up right there. And then just bring sideways lightning rods forward until it's aligned with the front of this smoke box here. And we repeat the process for the other side. So we're gonna do seven sideways lightning rods here. Then we need a temporary block up here. Get one up here and one behind it so it jumps up right here. And then same thing, bring sideways lightning rods forward until it's aligned with the front of this smoke box. Then put a mangrove sign here and a bamboo button behind it. Repeat on this side so a mangrove sign and a bamboo button. Now we'll do the interior, so come back here in the cab. Fill this floor in three wide with a netherite block. Then we're gonna knock out this bottom middle block here, put a nether brick down there and light it on fire. Then a blackstone brick block here and here, and a slab here and here. Up here, open a bamboo fence gate. Over here, a trip wire hook. Down here, we're gonna do an item frame with a compass, and on the left, a lever. Then turn around and we'll put a slab here and here for some seats, and then come back out here. On this top middle, put three dark oak trap doors in the middle. Then we're gonna grab mangrove trap door, and we're gonna close two here and two over on this side here. Now come down here on the next block back behind where this slab is and we need an outward facing mangrove stair on each side and then another stair above it facing outward on each side. Across here three netherite blocks in the top middle. Under that three mangrove top slabs on this top middle of the bottom layer here. Then behind that, we're gonna do a line of nine mangrove top slabs down the bottom middle, nine blocks long. Then take deep slate tile stairs right here, put an upside down stair facing forward, then backwards. Skip one in another set of back to back upside down stairs, skip one in a third set. Copy it on this side for the wheels over here, so right here, one block from the end, upside down back to back stairs, skip one another set, skip one and another set. Then we're gonna add a mangrove top slab between the wheels here and here, and one on the back. Repeat on this side, so here, here, and here. Then on the side of all three of these wheels, we're gonna put two mangrove fence gates on each one. And repeat over here, two fence gates on each wheel over here. On this back corner, we're gonna put two mangrove stairs facing outward on either side in a column. Up here, we'll do three netherite on the middle. Then we're gonna come out here and do a line of netherite across these wheels and these wheels on each side. On this top outer edge, do a row of mangrove top slabs across here, and then same thing on this side. Come on the top layer of the back and do five red nether brick walls here. Put a sideways fence gate on the middle, open one here. Then a polished deep slate wall here and here, and close the dark oak trap door on each one for the bumpers. Across the top of these red nether brick walls back here, we are going to do two rows of five red terracotta. Then we're gonna come all the way forward on this outer edge with two layers of red terracotta. Bring it right up to the front of the tender above this stair here. Copy on this side, fill this whole side in with two layers of red terracotta as well. Then we're gonna put three down here, one here and here, and a cobble deep slate in the middle. Then we're gonna close a dark oak trap door here and here. 
then put a mango stair facing forward here and here. Then come one block from the back and put a mango stair facing backwards here and here. Across this, put a full row of red terracotta between the stairs, and then same thing on this side here. Then up here, we're gonna put a three x four of cobble deep slate for the coal pile, and some random cobble deep slate slabs on top to give it three dimensionality. Up here, close three mango trap doors like this, then come back behind it, drop one block down, and fill this all in three wide with black wool. Then close three mango trap doors on the back of this. Then we're gonna put a column of two deep slate brick walls here, and two here. Up here, we're gonna put two polished black stone slabs in the middle. Then five black carpet across this, a row of black carpet across the top here, one on each front corner, and then a row across here. On top of these columns of walls, we need to put a dark oak trap door on each one. Next, we need to make some banners for our numbers. So come into a loom with a red banner and yellow die. Do a vertical in the center. New banner. Vertical on the right, horizontal on the middle, top, and bottom. New banner. Horizontal on the bottom and top, vertical on the left and the right. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, bottom half yellow. New banner. A diagonal, then a horizontal on the top and bottom. Go to red dye and put a red border on every single one of these banners. This will be for the number on the tender here. So we're going to come back on the side of this right here and use the banners to put one, three, zero, six, five. Then we'll repeat on this side. So come right here and use the banners to put one, three, zero, six, five. And now the tender is all complete here. So there we have it folks. We've completed our LMS Crab Mogul type steam locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. We haven't done a steam engine in a while. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.